video from being deported from the UK to an uncertain future in the Ukraine. Can you handle the max? You said sex. Tonight, facing deportation, a five families fight to save a 69-year-old widow from being thrown out of the UK to an uncertain future in the Ukraine. I live with her, so it's a bit hard to think of not living with her, since she's a big part of my life. And she's like a mum to me, to be honest. Also tonight, an oil worker on a North Sea platform is to undergo... Good evening. She's a 69-year-old widow with no relatives in her country, no home and no income. But Ukrainian national Valentina Yakoleva fears she'll be separated from her family in Fife after living here for the past decade. Now a legal battle is underway to halt her deportation. Her MP has told the Commons that the immigration process in her case is a black mark on our society, as Craig Miller reports. Valentina Yakoleva is on tenterhooks, not knowing whether she'll be forced to leave Scotland and return to her native Ukraine, where she has no family left and probably no home. With tensions with Russia, Ukraine hasn't had its troubles to seek, so is she scared. Вы боитесь, у вас, у вас есть чувство страха? Ну, конечно. Yes, of course. Yeah. For the past 10 years, Valentina has lived in Tayport, over the water behind me, with her daughter, two granddaughters and son-in-law. But two years ago, she was arrested after her travel visa expired and her application for a family reunification visa was rejected. But there were errors in her initial application and she had to spend two weeks at the Dungable Immigration Removal Centre before being released. Uh, her options are leave now with a possible return in a year or be forcibly removed and not be able to come back for five years. Well, we feel quite anxious and secure. Uh, we don't know what will happen next. And uh, if she has to go, then for how long the ban will last. Every day we feel that something might happen and uh, we don't know what and how, what will be the next scenario for us, for all of us. Because Valentina has been here, Andri and her daughter Tanya have been able to go and get jobs while the grandchildren have been looked after. The family's MP raised the matter in the Commons earlier this week and says the immigration process in her case is a black mark for our society. She has no income, health issues, no family in the Ukraine, and I just think that that just demonstrates that this is an immigration policy that lacks dignity, compassion and respect. For granddaughter Daria, Valentina's dilemma is hard to take. She's a big part of my life, and she's like a mum to me, to be honest. And she's always been there for me. She's always cooked me my meals. She's always, you know, helped me get ready for school. So it would be very, very hard without her. Um, yeah. Home Office Minister Kevin Foster has said he'll look at Valentina's case. It's now an anxious waiting game for the family. Craig Miller, STV News. A worker 